Coming up in this edition of Real American Heroes, Lieutenant Colonel Mitch Utterback from the Emergency Operations Center in Boulder, Colorado. Welcome to another Real American Heroes Coronavirus Special Edition. I'm Oliver North, and our guest today is Lieutenant Colonel Mitch Utterback, who's retired from the U.S. Army Special Forces. I have to confess, I first met Mitch back in 2007 in Hila, Iraq, where Mitch was advising an Iraqi Army SWAT unit. In 2012 and 13, Mitch served as military liaison to the state of Colorado's incident management teams. Mitch retired five years ago, but continues to serve on local and national incident management teams. Mitch, you're in the Emergency Operations Center out there in Boulder, Colorado. What are you doing there? Hey, teammate, good to see you again. I'm sitting in the exact same workstation that I spent the last two months in here in the Emergency Operations Center, where I was in charge of making sure the personal protective equipment got to every place in Boulder County that needed it. Over 200 organizations, facilities, agencies, it all passed through me, and I was the direct connection to all those groups that needed that critical PPE. So what, what went through your mind when you were given this assignment? Well, it sounded like a perfect job for a retired Special Forces guy. It had never been done before. <laughs> it was a time of critical need, and there was very little guidance. So I thrive in those kind of environments, as you know. So I was really eager to jump in and make a difference, really there was no higher calling in the country at the time than to serve in the pandemic. And I was just grateful to be by name requested from the county to come on to emergency management active duty and make a difference. So what is the COVID-19 situation in Colorado now? Is it still as bad as it was? Well, our governor just sat with the president a few days ago. The governor's receiving praise from the president, uh, from, from all political persuasions. Colorado's doing, doing pretty well, and specifically in Boulder County, where I've been working, Boulder County got it got busy two, month, two and a half months ago. They didn't wait for somebody else to tell them what to do. They started seeking PPE worldwide. Plus, they were completely connected with everybody in charge in the county. The agency administrators were constantly in contact with each other. There was great communication. It, it's what you want from government all levels of government within the county working together, sharing information, doing the right thing. I was proud to be a part of this and proud, proud to be a citizen of this county, watching it work so well and being involved. Mitch, you, you and I have known each other a long time. Uh, give me a sense for what the American people ought to know about how our government's responding to this crisis. Well, Ali, our, our citizens should know contrary to what they often see in the mainstream media, that emergency response for everything starts at the most local level. And let me put it this way. You see a prowler in your backyard or somebody breaks into your garage, do you call the local police or the FBI? You call the local police. Emergency management starts at the most local level. It goes up from city to county to state. That's where the citizens should be asking the most from. They're most closely aligned elected officials. When you see somebody on TV complaining about what the federal government hasn't been doing, our country should ask itself, why is that person blaming the next higher level of government? What's their responsibility? What have they done? I, and we see it, I see it all the time in any kind of emergency response. Somebody will get a camera in front of them and they'll blame somebody higher when they're really not accepting and taking responsibility for it themselves. When you look at what you're doing now versus what, and by the way, friends, you got to know that Mitch has got a lot of experience dealing with things like wildfires and disasters. Are you working with the same people now that you were worked with on, for example, wildfires? I am working with some of the same people that I worked with while a lieutenant colonel in uniform over seven years ago. I really enjoyed being part of the military response to disasters, and I took all the FEMA training when I retired. Now I'm on a county incident management team and a federal incident management team working in a polo shirt where before it was the camo uniform, but the same people. And you know what's funny, like with you, people can't get used to calling me Mitch. I still get called Lieutenant Colonel all the time or Colonel for shorthand. You know how that feels. Oh yeah. So look, 50 years from now, when my great grandkids are studying about this extraordinary time in history, 
What do you want them to know about what you did in the midst of this crisis? Well, I'll tell them that your friend Mitch ran to the sound of the guns. He ran to the sound of the guns because we need people that are going to do that, no matter what the crisis, no matter what the danger. If it's just part of who we are in our DNA, and we'll move towards the crisis to make contact with the enemy, whether they're terrorists or a virus. We're going to move to the point of danger and see what contributions we can make to make the situation better. Mitch, I'm glad you're my friend. And thank you for being with us today and providing facts that our fellow Americans can use in these challenging times. Now, we're going to continue documenting the history of this never before crisis with these special coronavirus episodes. If this Real American Hero special broadcast has been informative, helpful, or encouraging, take time now to subscribe and let me know how these unprecedented events have affected you and yours. By doing so, you too may become part of this critical historical record of how America persevered and once again prospered. Until next time, remember, Semper Fidelis is more than a slogan for U.S. Marines. Always faithful is a way of life. Now, America, press on. Press on.